obviously with everything that's gone on over the last couple of days, it was always going to be difficult. But when you've got Manchester City playing in that sort of mood as well, just how much of a, a signal was that tonight? No, we knew we we knew that they were uh, they were going to offer their, a reaction from the game on the weekend. We knew that um, obviously they could beat against Arsenal, and, and um, we knew that they were going to come here with maybe a, a point to prove. Um, we knew it wasn't going to be a team that was going to come here, roll over and lay down because um, they had nothing to play for. So uh, we tried to set up a certain way. I think um, the first goal comes at a time where we're just getting back after the uh, the water break. So it was a tough time to concede that one. I think the second one, uh, looking back on it, to me it looks like Will Hughes gets a little bit of a touch on the ball for the penalty. So um, I think that one was a bit tough as well to take. And that was just before half time. Um, unfortunately, your goal difference advantage that you had now has also been uh, been wiped out. So, so, how much of an effect do you think that is, is going to have on things now? Uh, I don't know yet until the game um, tonight. Um, Aston Villa are playing now, so um, we won't know until after that. Uh, we'll have a look and, and, and assess it then. Uh, we're in tomorrow. We'll have a look at it tomorrow, and then um, you know we, we'll concentrate on getting the boys ready for the game on Sunday. How much are you going to have to hope now for, for some of the results around you to, to, to maybe help out and, and maybe that Arsenal will have one eye on the cup final next week when you, when you see them? No, we, you know, we can't think about that. I think we have to think about preparing ourselves right. Um, obviously, it's a tough game against a very good side, Arsenal, away. Um, we're doing very well at the moment. But uh, like you say, we can only concentrate on ourselves. We're not really going to worry about um, other results going our way really. Were there some positives that you could see tonight, things that you, you think you might be able to, to hold on to for that last game now? I mean for us we played, like I said, we played against a very, very good side. Um, we didn't want to open it up too early. We know that they're, they're very good on the counter-attack. They've got some fantastic players, uh, fantastic manager. Um, we knew that if we were a little bit naive then you know, we, we'd get hurt and uh, we'd get punished on the counter-attack. Like I say, the goals come up times where we think maybe we could uh, a little bit avoidable but um, you know it, it, they're a good side they're a good side um, and, and we've got to go again thank you Aiden hello it's, it's Adam Leventhal yeah a bit echoey yeah sorry dude um, I just wanted to just talk about the the discipline that was showed in that in that first half. I mean, it was almost like attack against, attack against defence. But it was you must be pleased with with the the discipline that the side showed, especially in the first half. I mean, we, we knew, like I said before, they're they're a top side. Um, they're a very good team. We knew we had to be disciplined. We tried to set up a certain way, um, and we were gonna we were gonna get to certain areas in the uh, in the game where we. If we needed to make changes, we could. Like I said, the, the the first goal gives us a little bit of a setback, and the second one as well. Like I said before, I think we're a little bit um, unlucky with it. Um, and it, like you said, we we did try to set up with a certain discipline, um, but they're a good side, they're a tough side, and sometimes you you have to look at the opposition and uh, hold your hand up. Hayden. It's uh, Ryan from the Watford Observer. Um, I couldn't help but notice you had a bit of a, an in-depth chat with, with Pep on the pitch there after the game. What did he say to you? I think it was just generally, you know, um, just generally about the, uh, the position and, and, and how he deals with it and stuff like that. It was, it was nothing really in it. It was just, you know, listen, good luck for the next game. Um, and, and, and that was it. Hayden, it's um, Jack Rossman from The Standard here. Um, I think Ben Foster said on TV that confidence is very low. How do you go about picking that up in such a short time and pulling everyone together for one last, one last push against Arsenal? I don't, I don't know if the confidence is very low. I know we got beat by a very good side today. I said to them in the dressing room, listen, lads, they're, they're a good, good side. And sometimes, you know, you, you, you hold your hands up to the opposition. Um, fantastic side. We knew it was going to be a tough game. We did. Um, but we've got to get ourselves ready for the next game. And the next game is Arsenal awesome away on Sunday. Um, we're in tomorrow. Uh, we'll have a look at the goals tomorrow. And it's about us now picking the team 
for for Sunday, getting them ready for Sunday, and then you know getting the confidence back. Hey, Hayden, it's it's John Cross at the Mirror here. Do you, I just wonder, I mean, you you seem quite wouldn't say upbeat about the performance, but bearing in mind what Ben Ben sort of said, and he, he was sort of saying that the players need to have a look at themselves after after that defeat. Was there enough fight? Was there enough spirit that makes you believe that that come Sunday after the game Sunday you will stay up? I haven't seen that interview. I don't know what what Ben said. Um, but you got to remember when you're a player and you're on the pitch, you've been out there for 90 minutes. It feels a, it feels you know a lot different, and you you have a lot of emotions going on in your head. I don't know what Ozzy said. I haven't seen it, so I, I can't comment on it. Maybe you know when he when he um, he gets in tomorrow, it'll be, it'll be a completely different kind of uh, outlook on it. But we, you know, going back to us as a squad and what we need to do, we know what we need to do. Um, we'll have more of an idea tonight after the game, uh, the Villa game. So, so, like I said, it's, it's about us focusing on us, uh, getting together with the squad and, and, and seeing what the next few days bring. Click there for more videos. That's it.